Now, here are the facts on COVID-19 cases in the state. Take a look at the curve there. Today, the state reported over 10,300 cases. Right now, the positivity rate is standing at around 12%. The state has previously said they want to keep that number under 10%. Take a look county by county there in Central Florida. Orange County has seen the highest increase, adding more than 400 new cases. Marion, Osceola, Volusia, Seminole, and Brevard also saw triple-digit increases. This has been the worst week on record, including six days with over 10,000 cases. And another big component of the new numbers released today are deaths across the state. Florida is reporting another 90 people have died. That's after yesterday's 130 deaths. So far, the health department says over 5,000 Floridians and non-residents have died from the virus here in the state. News 6's Clay Lepard joins us live in the newsroom. And Clay, what are these deaths looking like here in Central Florida? Lauren, four counties here in Central Florida, Orange, Seminole, Marion, and Polk reported today their highest number of deaths for a single day. We have a lot of things that, that we we're working on day after day. Inside Flagler Hospital in St. Augustine, Governor Ron DeSantis acknowledged there is still room for improvement when it comes to testing across the state and the turnaround for results. Most of the tests are being sent to big private labs and the turnaround on that has gotten progressively worse over the last six weeks. That prompted places like the Orange County Convention Center to begin on Friday, offering dedicated testing lanes for those with symptoms, with the hope of a faster turnaround for test results. That's a really big deal. If you test on a Friday and you can get the results before you go in um, to work on a Monday. As for the thousands still testing positive for the disease on a daily basis, more help is on the way for those getting hospitalized. The governor says patients could get the care they need with a new shipment of remdesivir, a COVID-19 treatment expected at hospitals this weekend. For those 30,000 more vials, you know, that's probably about five to 6,000 additional patients. And so we want to make sure that the physicians have what they need to be able to, uh, to prescribe for, for their patients. As for the question looming all over parents all over the state, Governor DeSantis emphasized the need for parents to have options when it comes to in-class versus virtual learning. Lauren, back to you. Okay, thanks, Clay.